So if you're wanting to convert some permanent outdoor lights to WLED, in my opinion, there's one clear-cut winner on what product you should go with, and that's the Eufy E120s. And I'll get into my reasons why later on in this video, but for now, let's start getting things set up. So right here, I'll be laying out the power supply that the kit came with, as well as the included controller, and making my first cut. I'll then strip back the outer layer to get to the voltage and ground wires, and then strip back those as well. Next, I'll use a couple 3-slot wagos and attach them to our two exposed cables. Moving on, I'm going to take our first strand of lights, and there are a couple very important things to mention. Now, it's very easy to tell what's the beginning of the strip and the end if you still have your connectors. The female one that you're looking at here is the beginning, and the male plug with the screw cap on is the end. However, if you start cutting these up for custom installs, you might remove these connectors and then you wouldn't have this method of knowing what's the beginning and end. So let's take a closer look at the back of the strip. In the bottom cable with the black line is the voltage, the middle is the data, and the top unmarked wire is ground. But most importantly, data is flowing in this direction, and for all addressable LEDs, data always has to be going in the same direction which is away from the controller. So if you do end up with a strip that you've cut both connectors off and you're not sure what's the beginning and the end, make note of the direction of the text in the middle data line since this is the best way I can think of to always be able to tell what side of the strip is the beginning part. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the beginning connector piece, separate the wires, and strip all three back. Once this is done, I can take the bottom voltage wire and connect it to our voltage wago, then I'll connect the top ground wire from the LEDs to our ground wago. Next, I'll be using this controller from Domestic Automation that comes pre-installed with WLED. Now this does have a JST connector if you had any LED strips that you wanted to quickly get set up, but for this, I'm going to use their spring-loaded block system to get everything hooked up. I'm first going to take an 18-gauge silicone wire that I've already stripped and insert that into the middle slot on the block, which is our negative or ground. I'll then take another wire and insert that into the right slot, which is our data, and on that data line, I'll attach a separate WAGO. Now, even though I'm using short wires, since the board does have a data booster built in, you could make these much longer if your install called for it. Then, I can connect our data from the controller to the lights, and finally, the ground from our controller to the last remaining opening in the three-slot ground WAGO. Now to provide power to the controller, I have this small 5 volt 2 amp plug laying around that I'll be using, and it can go right into the barrel plug on the module like I'm doing here. So once everything's plugged in, let's now go into our WLED settings, and for this video, I'll be assuming you know how to get to this point with WLED, but if you don't, I did make a video going over the complete setup steps that you can watch if this is your first time hearing about this controller or free software. Go into Configure and then LED Preferences, and since the power supply is 1.5 amps, I'm going to set my brightness limiter to 1400 milliamps, which is 1.4 amps. Next, since we're using the block terminal, which is assigned to GPIO4, we can scroll down and update the specifics of the LEDs in that field. Change the WS21X to SK6812, color order to BRG, swap the W and G, and the number of LEDs on each strand is 10, which I'll put in the length field. Hit Save and your light should turn on. And a big shout out to Rob over at the Hookup for saving me the time of having to figure out the color order through trial and error. He recently did an amazing video comparing some outdoor kits that I'll leave a link to in the description. So the biggest reason why you should get these over anything else if WLED is your end goal is because of the dedicated white LED that this kit offers. And the only other permanent outdoor lights available right now that has a separate white LED is the Govi Pro model, but those aren't compatible with WLED, so to me, this is a no-brainer. Now to use the white LED on this kit, you just have to slide the bottom and middle slider to the right and make sure the top one is all the way to the left, and as you can see, the separate white LED is now on. And to turn the white LED off, move the bottom slider all the way to the left. Now before moving on, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Aura. So this is me signing up for their free 14-day trial, and during the setup process, one of the many things they do is scan the internet for data brokers that have your personal information. These data brokers then make a fortune selling your information to spammers, scammers, and other entities that want to know more about you. Now, Aura was able to find 30 such instances of my personal information being in the hands of these companies. Then, with one click, Aura sends out a notice to have my information removed from their systems, which they are legally required to do when asked. Their all-in-one platform offers antivirus protection, credit monitoring, credit lock, financial transaction alerts, secure VPN, identity protection, parental controls, 24-7 US-based customer service, and much, much more. I'll leave a link in the description for you to start your own free 14-day trial, so please make sure to check them out. Thank you all so much, and now back to the video. Now when you go to add more lights, all you have to do is get them connected, go into LED preferences, and update the total number of LEDs that you now have. I just connected a second string, so this puts me at 20. Hit save, and the new lights should turn on. 
I'll add one more string, update the number to 30, and you can see how easy it is to add lights to your run. So another great thing about converting these to WLED is that I can easily swap out the domestic automation controller for their piano model that has a built-in mic and ships with WLED Sound React pre-installed to turn these into a musical light show around the holidays. This was a feature that Eufy left out in order to cut costs, but it's nice to know that it's still possible to do using the WLED software. Test, test. Check, check, check. Check, check. Test, test, test. I'll continue with a few of the WLED regular effects, but I did want to quickly mention that I compiled all my tutorials of cutting, extending, waterproofing, splitting, injecting power, and more of the GoV lights into one long video, but all of those walkthroughs can be applied to these lights as well, since the process would pretty much be identical if you're doing any of that stuff on the Eufy kit. I'll leave a link to that in the description, so make sure to check that out if interested. And unfortunately, I had zero luck trying to get these lights working when I connected it to just an ESP32 with WLED installed on it, so if anyone has had any success connecting it this way using the bare minimum parts, I'd love to know how you went about it. So that about does it for this one. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I hope you have a blessed day.